So yes, the game really wants you to get pumped for the end. And this might work if Metal Gear Solid 4 knew what pacing was at all, but instead, it's Snake yeah. remembering things that were said an hour ago and running down a hallway. Th this was in this game? Yes. Oh yeah, that was in this game. <laughs> now Snake's just having flashbacks of really dumb things he said and wish he could take back. Go! Go! Hurry! Sorry! What are they housed in these identical hangers? Uh, man, I don't know. They got those little things in the side. Maybe geckos get put in there? Failure. 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 Oh, okay. It's the giant Go. gecko stack. Mm -hmm. Playing Jenga with your geckos. But yeah. Let's see if I was right. You'll probably be right. I like her reloading technique with her calves. Mm -hmm. She's one-shotting all of these frogs. <laughs> How many have died? How many could possibly be left? Damn it! I can't protect anyone. <laughs> Maybe because you're not protecting anyone. There's no one else in the room. Snake is half a mile away. They're never gonna catch up. What a surprise. And who is it? Who is it? It's Drebin. I knew it. Mm -hmm. Ah. Ah. Who shot him? <clears throat> oh, it was, um... When S Screaming Mantis possessed a bunch of dead frogs, they started shooting and he blocked Meryl from getting shot. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I have to buy Screaming Mantis a beer. <laughs> well, let me make a note of that. All right. I... So all we really have to do is rush him, because he's got a giant-ass sniper rifle that is not good against infantry at all. Right. In practical terms. <laughs> right. From a military tactic standpoint that Metal Gear Solid, like, prides itself on, this, that is the worst gun to have. It, pri it prides itself on that as long... unless it, it prohibits them from doing something cool. <laughs> or if they just really want to write something a certain way that really shouldn't work. Like this. And that's that's perfectly fine. Okay, I... he's got a normal gun now. Yeah. Surprise, he pooped them all out. Uh, Every time we had mandatory shots, I think out. maybe he, he had some sort of reaction to the mask because he there's been nothing going on in his <laughs> digestive tract ever since the, the, the pretty boy reveal. Yeah. Once everybody else started, you know, had their nanomachines turned off and everybody was bad at shooting or something. He didn't feel as much pressure. It's called the Volta River, and they're really pretending it wasn't Prague. Was yeah. It, was it... Prague, then? I guess. <laughs> yep. Like, calling you a useless bastard. I'm not afraid of shooting. That's very different. <laughs> not afraid of bullets. I just hate needles. Johnny, <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much me. I I can sympathize. <laughs> Johnny, that's really creepy. That was ten. That was ten years ago, Johnny. <laughs> and you were naked and unconscious. What the hell? <laughs> Johnny, how'd you track her? Fuck off, you freak. Johnny, how'd you track her down? <laughs> Like Shadow Moses happened, and then you had no contact with her until MGS4. How'd you even know her name? Maybe it was labeled outside her cell. Maybe. I mean, they, they must have met, like, he, he brought her dinner trays while yeah. she was in jail. Well, okay, they were also both part of the same army thing. So. Part of the, yeah, because she was undercover as a genome soldier. Yeah. And he actually is a genome soldier. Mm -hmm. 
How does that work? Aren't they supposed to be dead? Oh, no, no, no. Actually, uh, Johnny was... Not all the soldiers were Gino. Meryl and Johnny were two that were brought in or something. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Yeah. Although Johnny does vaguely look snakish. Yeah. Except more beautiful. <laughs> Much more beautiful. <laughs> the most beautiful. The same leg. He, well, no. Both legs. Both legs. Been... And don't even think about cheating on me. <clears throat> you aren't even together, yet are instantly engaged at the same time. So yeah, when I mentioned that one, there is a really dumb cutscene coming up, I was talking about this one. Oh, okay. Obviously. Um, I, I'm trying to remember when the movie Mr. and Mrs. Smith came out. I think it was the year when men... I think it was a year before MGS4 came out. So I find it very believable that Kojima was just watching Mr. and Mrs. Smith while writing the script for this game at the same time. I think this is one of the most awesome cutscenes in the game so far. Well, I mean, the shooting's neat. Yeah, I'm not listening to a damn thing they're saying. Yeah. yeah. I hope they're all dead. You know, oh, no, okay. Because that'd be really hilarious if there was one really sneaky frog just around the corner. Wow. There, I did it. The one Killed competent both frog. With one bullet. Yep. Oh no, narrow hallways with tons of tiny robots. This is a really awesome. good. Oof. This is a really good place for chaff grenades, especially if you're doing a speedrun. Wrestling you? That's awesome! <laughs> yeah, they, they will, um. You've seen the ground for a while, a bunch of them will just like pile on top of you. I want one to do a suplex. I don't think these robots are strong enough to suplex, unfortunately. I would, jo I would join a, a dwarf gecko robot fighting league. Mm -hmm. At the very least, I would spectate. I would spectate the hell out of that. <laughs> Razor would never have a chance. <laughs> mm, they are really good at just kicking Snake right over. Yeah. It's... You know how people in wheelchairs have really developed upper bodies? Yeah. It's the same thing. Oh, okay. They're constantly working out their arms just by walking. Alright. See you later, suckers. <laughs> I'm going to microwave myself. Yeah. You ever think Gecko have a weird thing with their strength training? Because... It... It's hard enough to balance things out when you have two arms. Mm -hmm. Adding a, thir a third, that's an odd number. Yeah. That's, that's all over the place. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, hey, I'm still here. <laughs> I don't bother the help, though. I can't attack my robot brethren, that would just be wrong. Hey, hey, guys. I don't know. Okay. I don't. I don't really think Mark II would have much of a chance against all the dwarf gecko. No. Okay. Hey guys. Okay. He's clearly. This guy's clearly boned. He's having a heart attack or something, and like seizing. And his robots got to pee. I think. Yeah. So how should we should we kill him and say, hey, we're the people who killed Solid Snake, the most badass badass ever? No. Let's slowly. As slow as possible, with our <laughs> knives out. Come on! Just one guy, just take the knife, just briskly jog to him even, and just plunge it into his heart. You're done. We, we were only trained on how to harvest sugar cane. I don't... I don't know what they expect of us. Oh, these are the uh, farmer... These are the farmer... frogs, yes. He made a joke once that Ryan was gonna fight with a sword in his mouth, guess what? <laughs> All my jokes must come true. <laughs> and he's armless. I, I will prophesy every, every Metal Gear Solid game. Mm -hmm. That's not what lightning is. You do this now, for some reason. Fuck yeah. That's an unlockable in Peace Walker, actually. <laughs> Becoming rain transform. No, just shooting lightning everywhere. Oh, okay. I don't even have it because it's really hard to get. 
Wait, it took all your life away. Oh, it comes back. Down, down to a pixel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because that's really cheap. Like, come on. Well, it it takes your health away, but you're not gonna. The next part, you're not gonna be like fighting people where you need health. I, I really like to think Otacon just hacked into the system mm -hmm. and, and uh, <laughs> is overloading fuses and, and short circuits. To, to, to help Ryden feel better. Right. The corridor's full of microwaves. One of us is enough. My body is a machine. I can take it. No, you'd be fried double you good. Like, a machine. <laughs> but have you never put a CD in the microwave, Ryden? <laughs> You've got a life to Ryan, have you ever put a Doritos bag she means in the microwave? Now. They get really Ryan, tiny. Look at me. <laughs> It's amazing how small they get. I'm gonna play with my silly putty. <laughs> you still have your youth. <laughs> Not in what you want? What the hell? You can start over. He's a face and apparently a heart. You're on. That is what Raiden is. This is my fight. <laughs> and youth. We. Your young, supple robot body, Raiden. Made your life a living hell. Let me get a peek at that. Before I microwave my brain. It's my duty to put an end to all of this. Raiden, are you teething again? <laughs> you, right. You're teething, aren't you? Don't Here, take this. Sure don't get through. Stay with me. It's pretty cool. Hold on until we insert the virus. <laughs> Here. What an adamant robot. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dumbest cutscene. You you are wrong. Well, I didn't say that this previous one was the dumbest. It was one of the dumbest. I felt this is the dumbest cutscene. That moment where they're just standing there staring. Yeah. Is is, is the lightning gonna come back? Is the, uh, uh. Oh, I will clear so much brush. <laughs> Everybody hold your wrist. It's proper machete holding procedure. Don't want to get too close oh, to the ninja. Look, See, his life's back. We do have guns, but uh, I'm not so sure about that. Well, they clearly have a ton of frogs, because they're just being massacred by Meryl and Johnny right now. Maybe these are the ones that couldn't get any guns. Snake. They woke up late on the gun rights. <laughs> Well, you're boned. You only get machetes. Dance, Ryden, dance. I learned something no, from Vamp when I killed him. He stood up a non-violent protest, and he just stood there motionless for 24 hours. And, and, and some people gave him roses, mm -hmm. some people threw Molotov cocktails at him, but he didn't move at all. Wow. And then he flew away, and, and one of the frogs gave Snake a rose. The end. Inspiring stuff. <laughs> He's a Buddhist flautist, or something. He's gonna use the crane kick. Would've been cool if he could play as Ryan for that part. Yes. I don't know how the hell it would control, but it'd be fun. It, it'd be like the vampire dream from MGS3. Oh, all right. You just hit an attack button over and over again, and crazy shit happens on the screen. Mm -hmm. Or no, take take the combat system from um, Sands of Time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oof. These microwaves making my feet melt. They're so. Small. <laughs> At least they aren't nano waves. Yeah. <laughs> Those will mess you up. Oh no. What the hell? Our octo camo is blowing oh, up. Okay. I like this part. Is it is it possible for the microwaves to kill you? Like if you <laughs> enter the hallway with 
little enough health. Well, your health always recharges to the same amount for this part. But uh, it is okay. it is possible to die here. Um, like, it's pretty hard to die here, but see, you have to press... This is this game's torture sequence. Because... <laughs> Always gotta have one of those. Because so. you have to like care about what happens to Meryl and Johnny, you mean? Yes. Okay. But yes, when Snake starts crawling, you gotta press triangle a bunch. Oh man, Rave shows up. Hey, Rave. There's a bunch. Snake's butt. Snake's butt is white hot. Look at that. <laughs> wow, Snake. Don't I know it? His thighs are even hotter, apparently. And I didn't know these microwaves would label the most attractive parts of Snake. <laughs> I, I want to know his uh, asymmetry and hotness. I, I need that explained. <laughs> well, if you just saw Snake flex that thigh in the right there, you'd understand. Oh. <laughs> Solid Eye blew up. Is anybody attacking those two, or they Campbell and Rose? being attacked by how depressing. <laughs> They're just They're depressed. depressed. I don't even know where the hell they are. They, they just watched that Futurama episode where the dog dies at the end. <laughs> Not again! <laughs> oh my god, Snake, no! <laughs> Come on, Snake, show us that swagger. I don't know, despite this scene's best efforts to be just really absurd and stupid mm -hmm. it, it, it actually works yeah it it it's working mm -hmm. not as much as it wants to but it is yeah this is one thing i actually like from mgs4 despite everything's so dumb and you really shouldn't care it's a little effective i think this would work better if oh hey there are the eggs yeah. if you actually had small but but noticeable victories through the games. So yeah. Like this total your bone thing is like, ah, oh, you... Th it, it, it'd it work even better. Mm -hmm. Look at that flower. Man, Snake is so glowy. <laughs> He's made out of lava. I'm surprisingly happy that uh, she made those eggs. Mm -hmm. those, those are pretty nice looking eggs. I don't even eat eggs. <laughs> I don't really eat eggs either. Every once in a while, with like toast or something. God, why didn't the robot explode? <laughs> well, I thought it kind of went whoa well once or twice because parts of it blew up. I guess. The robot's pretty much unscathed. Robot yeah. unlocks the door. Send the robot in solo. <laughs> the robot wouldn't do that and then lay in it face first. Okay, that must have really hurt when the solid eye exploded. Yeah. Uh. I'm surprised he still has an eye. Snake, let's video conference. Hold on, I gotta inject through my clothes. Actually, if if they wanted to, to do another big boss callback, having the solid eye destroy his actual eye would have been a really good way to go about it. Mm -hmm. Missed opportunities, Kojima. Come on now. Uh, it's like a graveyard. I couldn't tell. <laughs> I needed that pointed out, Icon. It. It's nothing like a graveyard. Everybody cares about all the graves here. Whoa. I wonder how much it costs to install those holograms on all the servers. I'm tripping flower balls. Good. I think the the robot's snake arm is the most versatile thing mm -hmm. I've ever seen on a robot. <laughs> it does so many things, it's completely prehensile, it has fingers if it wants to. Yep. It was able to hold a gun. Yeah, I'm still waiting for something in this scene that only a human could do and the robot couldn't on its own. Other than make everyone really depressed. Mm -hmm. Well, there are the robots here. 
Whoa. So Snake had to go just to provide Otacon back up. Yeah, just in case there were guys in the server room or something. I really like that, actually. Otacon's gonna save the world, and Snake is his bodyguard. <laughs> I like it. Yep. Well, that one's angry. Instead of the silly flopping, it's got angry flopping. Attack him! There you go. Man. By the way, that won't work. People have tried it a lot. That was four people at once stabbing him. You have to dance on his face to make it count. <laughs> Teething. <laughs> Gotta bite on something. His jaw will never let him pick that up. Well, he gets they back away. Reasonably. <laughs> You should stab him with his robot jaw. Yeah. The only thing he's done with that jaw is do a chin throw. God, I can do it myself! Never should have gotten married. For, let's get him been engaged for ten minutes, <laughs> and you're already controlling psychopath. <laughs> what the hell? Oh no, cops are coming. Uh oh. It's the Robo Fuzz. <laughs> Every time I'm recording, the cops go by. <laughs> come on, come on! Gotta download these toys faster so I can help <laughs> out! Oh. I have my priority, Snake! Just a little bit longer, Snake. I'm almost done seeding Madoka Magica. <laughs> we did it! Yes! We finished the fan sub! <laughs> Our site is up now! All 642 episodes. I'd like everybody to know that I voiced. Naruto and Goku in this fan sub. The fan sub was then uploaded into the frog uh, memory core. It's just so great they can't handle it. <laughs> it's being displayed on all their visors. <laughs> it's over. The anime! The anime did it! They did it! Oh, Johnny! Oh. Now let's tend to our thousands of bullet wounds. <laughs> We are riddled with them. It helps to look if you're going to shoot. You should try saving Ray's game, then it will like you better. <laughs> Read me a proverb. Boring. I'll just fall off the ship. Well, I mean, as a water type Pokemon, it, it's where it belongs. Mm -hmm. Okay, those rays are AI controlled. Why are they pressing their roar like a dinosaur button? <laughs> I'm just happy I finally <laughs> learned the name of the ray Pokemon. Mm -hmm. They're all called. I love this shot right here. Like it was, this is the end, the aftermath of a really wild party. Would you like to give your a nickname? Robots are horseshit. <laughs> Wait a minute. The worm is still spreading. And it's not stopping at GW. Wait a minute, I'm an incompetent loser. <laughs> Wait, I don't believe this. Naomi. <laughs> you know, maybe if you didn't kill yourself for no goddamn reason, you might have told us what your thing was doing. Hmm. Oh no, we stopped the 
them from doing what they wanted to do by doing what they wanted to do. The end. It was all a trick. <laughs> My plan worked perfectly. I gave her cancer. <laughs> I hope you're listening. Wait, wait. Did Ocelot give her cancer? No. The virus you uploaded. He didn't give if her he cancer. did. <laughs> <laughs> no, many of your predictions have come true, but not this time. <laughs> uh, Liquid Ocelot did not give Naomi cancer. Not even ghost cancer. I've set this video to play. You think you'd be able to do that with a ghost arm, but. Sons of the Patriots was only the beginning. The Patriots well, were planning to use the machines to implement the system over the entire population. As far as I can tell, they did, because there's nobody in this game who's not a soldier. Mm -hmm. Everyone. With a little help from Sunny. <laughs> she helped me. Mm -hmm. She believed her talents could help you all put GW to rest. Why does she seem so sad about it? Hmm? What she A computer, the only thing that could possibly understand me, and it had to die. This virus's name what a dumb this name. Alive. It's just as bad as when it's Drebin called the beauty Snakehound. Yes. It's a good thing I never use Snakehound ever again after that. <laughs> Because that's just dumb. Foxes. Those are birds. <laughs> she's she's not a, a, a biologist. All right. She does other science. Also, I'm not she's entirely sure what science she does, but it's other science. Also, she's dead, and she was really hoping that when they played this video, it'd be somewhere where there were foxes. Too bad. I'm afraid I'll be gone. For some reason, I thought the giant boat would be. I don't know, in a forest or something. Maybe, a message yeah. to be delivered after you've died. Maybe somebody has a pet fox. And also, yeah. I want you to add Peter to the team. He's like family. If you're listening. <laughs> Rubbing it in even after death. I'm sorry. By the way, Dead Sister Squirrel! <laughs> sorry, I deceived you. The parrot just swoops right in. <laughs> right, dead Sister! What hurt me most was the sex. I'm gonna be I honest, it was the sex. To you before. If you can even but call it that. Much. I mean, like, I hang out in, in, in science departments at grad schools. I don't have high standards, Otacon, but honestly. But when honestly. you literally just lay on top of me and ask if it's good. <laughs> You still had your pants on at that point. <laughs> I was... It boggled the mind. Thank you. Thank you. I kind of might be a little endearing if you're kind of experienced, but when you literally don't know how anything works, and I have to teach you the ropes for everything. Did his tears weird. just go, like, at a 40 degree angle? I think so. so Otacon actually oh, you does... You said you didn't have any left to shed! <laughs> He called it! I thought... You loving bastard! Snake... Hear me... So this is the end, right? right? This is the end of the game. I refuse to believe I have three more videos to record <laughs> before the unlock hole. Uh, like, this would be a good ending. Mm -hmm. now, this would be a perfectly solid ending. The story's over. Destiny for Snake is free to choose his own destiny until he dies of old age next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Basically, the only thing left is that we haven't seen Liquid anywhere. He went on to quintuple cross another day. All right. I, th I think it would be the ultimate trick. That they, mm -hmm. they went in to see him, and he's like, Nope, not all <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was on my other boat. 
I was piloting. He was piloting the ray that acted like it just passed out, but you can tell he was in there because he pressed the roar like a dinosaur button. Oh.